In this example problem, we have a triangular prism and we need to find its surface area. So Sean's tent, which is shown below, is this triangular prism. So meaning the front of it is a triangle and the back, which is hard to see, would also be that same triangle. Remember with a prism that if you cut out the cross-sectional area of any piece along its length, that it would be the same area. So they're all gonna be this triangular face here. So remember, you can also imagine taking this front triangular face here and sliding it along its length so that it fits perfectly along. And again, this back triangular face would be the exact same size. So we need to find the surface area, including the floor of Sean's tent. And it might be easier to conceptualize this if I draw a triangular prism that's not closed off or that isn't colored in like this. So let me draw another one. And this is not drawn perfectly, but you can at least visualize if the tent was see-through. So we can see all the different faces of this prism. Since when we're trying to find surface area, remember that we're trying to find the total area that the outside of the shape occupies. So essentially we want the area of the triangular face on the front and the back. And then we want the area of each of these rectangular faces. So there's one on the right side, there's one on this back side here, and there's a rectangle on the bottom, since we also want to include the floor of the tent. So with this tent, we have two triangular faces and three rectangular faces. And if we find the area of each of those, we can just add them together to find the total surface area. And this is generally true of triangular prisms. You can find the area of the front and then just double that because it's the same as the area of the back. And then you can just find the area of these three rectangles on the side. So let's write that out, that the surface area of this triangular prism is twice the area of the triangular face plus three times the area of the rectangular faces. So you can say three times the area of the rectangular faces. And to calculate the area of the triangular faces, we need the formula for the area of some triangle. And that's always just half whatever the base of the triangle is multiplied by the height of the triangle. And we also need the area formula for a rectangle. So the area of some general rectangle is just the, the length of the rectangle multiplied by the width of the rectangle. So let's use these formulas to figure out the surface area. And I'm just gonna call surface area SA. So the surface area SA is just equal to twice the area of these triangular faces. So we have twice the base times the height and then cut in half. So we can say half the base and notice the base of this is 1.5 plus 1.5. So the total base is three meters. And the height of this is 2.6 meters. And then from there, we're gonna add the area of each of these rectangular faces. And it looks like this rectangle is a five meter by three meter rectangle. The one on the other side, so essentially this side of our tent, is also a three by five rectangle. And the one on the bottom, the floor of the tent, also three meters wide by five meters long. So we'll triple the three meter by five meter rectangular faces. Now, calculating each of these, let's see, since we have twice half of this product, the twos will cancel out. So we just get three meters times 2.6 meters. And if we do three times two, that's just six. And three times 0.6, that's 1.8. So we get 7.8 square meters. And of course you can just do that in a calculator if you wanna double check. And then we do three times five, that's 15. And we have to triple that. So that will be 
45 square meters. And lastly, we just want to add these together. So 45 plus 7, that's 52. And then the 0.8 will carry along. So the total surface area of this triangular prism is 52.8 square meters. So a question we could ask is how much material do we need to actually make this tent? And you would need 52.8 square meters of material. 